So we got the cookhouse and the logging camp. Let's see if we can build that. Bam. Wait, hold on. I don't like that placement. There we go. Alright, do I have what I need to build that? I believe I do. Still good on food, awesomely. Our production is at 32? Wow. Because we only have like six people in our colony. That's alright. I'd rather get ahead on food. That's like the biggest deal. Food and water. If we can get ahead on that, we could do anything. Alright, I got people all over the place. What are they doing? Specialist ready. Get the more, the, some more of them science points over here. Bam. There we go. 200 more science. Dude, that's amazing. That makes me so happy. Advanced farming. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe. Hold on. Uh, bigger harvest, feeding even the largest of colonies, placing them on fertile soil. So it's... There's no real advantage except for bigger fields. I don't know if that's really that big of a deal. I don't know. But really, the food is our biggest uh, problem right now. So maybe that's what we should focus on. We, we don't really need to worry about housing right now because we have so few people. I don't really want the electricity yet. There's no point because, again, six people in the colony. When like, Why have electricity if we can't even eat? Uh, storage, we don't... Now, the hazmat engineering, this one, to clear the waste, that's something I definitely want to get. So, maybe we'll start working on that if we can find some more science points to get. Alright. So, I need you to get the rest of them science points there. Oh, that took the rest of your energy? Wow. How lame of you. Get back over here. The cookhouse is now complete. Right? No, not yet. Almost. Alright, cookhouse is done. Now, let's see what recipe we want to go with. Already cooked meal. So this one takes, like, produce and firewood and creates 10 mils. So, okay, it goes in order from, like, the most resources, I think. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it with the, uh, the veggie mill. Go over here and explore this area. Oh, more bandits, dude. Oh, his defense is really low, though, so actually we could probably take him out. Might do that. Let's, um, let's harvest these crops and then demolish them and build, like, just some bigger ones for now. Let's build the, uh, where's the other thing? The logging camp? Is that what it was? No. Yeah? No. Yes, it was. Yeah, because we need firewood for the cookhouse. Wait, I didn't mean to do that, dude. Oh my god, I keep doing that with my scroll wheel, and it's just messing me up. They ain't ready yet. Oh, now she is. Okay. All right. All right, she's ready. Come over here and fight this man. Oh, yeah. One more hit and he's done, dude. I don't know what resources there are, though. Hopefully something useful. All right, let's find out. Oh, there's some science points there. Hell yeah. All right, now we can get a larger field. Grows food slowly, but in large quantities. Grows food slowly, but in large quantities. Same thing. Yields twice as much harvest as small field, but takes twice the surface area. Yields almost four times. Let's just go with the large one. Alright, where can we put this? Yeah, we'll just go right there. Perfect. Take advantage of this damn fertile soil we have. Okay. Get them damn science points. 189. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, it's hazardous. It's dangerous to do. We gotta keep an eye on their health. 
Nuclear fallout is coming? What? Ah, dude, this might be the end, honestly. Alright, we got more research points now we can work with. Security. Let's see. What, uh, what do we get next for food? Alternative proteins. An insect farm. Protected crops. Um... Oh, they can function even through a nuclear fallout. Hmm. Interesting. It requires energy, though, so we, and we don't have energy. This one also requires energy. There's no point in going forward with those yet. Now, security. That stores all resources. And then the hazmat engineering might be a good idea. Yeah, there we go. What do we get, though? We got a new general storage and the environmental station and the nuclear waste storage. Nice. I'm alright with that. Hurry up with this field, though. Okay. Select, um... Go with corn. I don't know, I'm not sure what to do with this nuclear fallout. Harvest crops before they wither. Stockpile iodine pills to treat radiation sickness quickly. Build more medic tents or assign more workers to existing ones to help those who are in need. So let's build a new, uh, another medic tent. Alright, uh, so their health is still over 50% for, for most of them. We can actually explore this before we send her back home. Alright, fiber. Don't really need that at the moment. Oh, next one's ready. Send her, um, where should we send her? Maybe just right here. Oh, another bandit with metal. That's not that important right now. One day till the nuclear fallout. Can't harvest any corn yet, so whatever on that. Hopefully we'll make it through this. I don't know how you're supposed to get iodine pills, so what do you do? What's over here? Bandits with more science points, okay. Before we do that, I'm probably gonna have to send her home so we can get her uh, treated. Oh, a group of survivors, yes. More adults with some food. Oh, lots of food, actually. Uh, yeah, and another scavenger, dude? Nice. Hold on. Let's get their tent built. I'm up to 11, I got 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, 10 and 11 right here. Need to get these built right away. And we got another man. Hell yeah. Alright, so we're gonna send him to... Oh, she's actually got... Okay, we're gonna send him this way. We're going to send her to get these research points. Dude, we're, we're, we're coming back. We're coming back. Now, hopefully we can survive this damn nuclear fallout. Insufficient. Wait, what is, wait a second. What are we short on? Oh, plastic crap. None of these people are ready yet either. And uh, there's not even anywhere to get plastic right now. Oh, no. Oh no, okay, hold on. Let me slow this down. Plastic, right here. Get you on some plastic. Hurry up with that. She's ready. She's at 58, but I'm gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and send her anyways. Alright, she's getting kinda low on health, so I gotta be careful. Get these tents built for these people. Specialist ready, all right. Who's ready? This guy? It's gonna take him a while to get over there. Somebody else ready? Oh, she's ready. I'm gonna send them all. They're gonna, they're gonna just freaking attack this dude and take him out. Working on that damn homelessness. Okay, here's the nuclear fallout. Uh-oh. Hurry, build that tent. Do it, do it.
Beware of the intense radiation and heavy rain. I think one more hit. Okay. Now she needs to come home after that. Someone's at the gates. Who this? Who this? So give me, uh, oh, iodine pills for some tools? Yeah, we'll do that for sure. Yeah. Oh, two specialists are ready. This dude's gonna come over and knock this guy out. Yeah, there we go. You can come over and get some of these research points here. You just wait it out. Hopefully this this goes away. This nuclear fallout. Oh, let's pick let's pick what we're gonna do for uh some uh some research. Exploration. It's not the only one in the world. Other societies are still out there and willing to exchange goods once you have built a trading center to coordinate these transactions. Trade center uh, to coordinate these um, blah blah blah. Tracks bigger trade convoys at your gates who offer much bigger deals. Oh no. Communal living maybe. Tiny white flowers. Let's just do that and maybe research for uh, education. And let's do energy production, actually. We still got a little bit junk recycling. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that. Cool. Some more research right here. Nice. What else can we do? Production. Colony. Security. No. Pretty much everything's at 200 now. It was so nice having like multiple scavengers. This game started out really rough, but I mean, it's starting to work out now. Getting all these research points, figuring out how you can actually take a uh, take over the damn bandits' camps and stuff. That's awesome. All right, there's no more research points, so we're gonna send them home so they can start healing up. Approaching a reinforced gate makes anyone respect a society living behind it a bit more. Survivor groups are questioned in more detail before letting them join the colony. Sometimes questioning can reveal important information about the group's conditions. Huh. If it said it brought more people in, I would definitely do that. But I kind of want to go to education for now. Down the river. Uh, curious about a nearby river? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, we got some plastic and some medicine. Nice. So, that worked out. Nice, nice. Over here, get this fiber. Let's see what's over here in this desert area. Oh, what is that? Iodine pills. Dude, perfect. A little bit of danger involved, but, uh, yeah. Oh, it's finally over. Yes. Thank the good lord. Corn. Get that corn planted. Specialist ready again. Uh, uh, hell yes. Oof. Okay, she's got metal and fiber. She's got fiber. This dude's got... Oh, this dude's ready too. Over here, get these iodine pills. You can only carry five. It's lame. Well, guess what? You're going right back there. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack, bursting out the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks, and other items. He has used the all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting a, in a very unbandit-like fashion. Oi, oi. Might I address whomever's in charge? A master builder is here, and you better listen. Here, uh, He's building a monument of sorts and needs construction materials. Yeah, let's trade for some research points, dude. That works for me. That works for me, buddy. And hospitals. Hmm. I'll go with energy storage. Almost done getting this uh, these iodine pills. Cool. One of your more scientifically minded colonists approaches you, having struggled with a particularly tough issue of what feels like an uh, eternity. She wants to take a hike outside the colony to clear her head. What's more worrying, tough, 
is that she needs to do this alone. Why? I mean, I guess. She prepares for the trip, says her goodbyes, and wanders off on a lonely trail. You don't really expect to hear from her in a while, but it only takes about an hour for her to return. She's limping and holding onto her side. Boers, I just barely got away, she mutters. Uh-oh. I guess come over here, see what's going on over here. Some more pills of some sort. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, antibiotics. Okay. All right, let's work on building some new stuff. All right, we got another meteor shower on the way, of course. But uh, we built some extra things here. So I built this nuclear waste storage. I'm working on building the environmental station so I can clear up the waste. That'll be awesome. I've kind of had to like, you know, normally I'd be like real OCD and have things all laid out, you know, like in a city-like structure, but kind of have to be a little bit more random where you place things because I don't want to use up all the fertile soil areas because if I plant more fields or something or like water uh, pumps, those have to be on fertile land. So that's why things are kind of random. Like over here too. Like I didn't want to, whoops. I didn't want to take over too much of this fertile land. So I put like both of these, the logging cap and the sawmill over off in the side around, you know, a bunch of trees too. But uh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, these guys are all cranking along. They got a bunch of medicine. Look at this. Like 35 uh, meds and then individual pills, the antibiotics and the iodine pills this dude's carrying. And I just found another bandit camp. I think we're going to take these dudes out. So yeah, it's coming along, dude. We haven't gotten any new travelers yet, but uh, I'm very happy with this. But we got another meteor shower, so probably going to have to be making a lot of repairs after that again, dude. I hate that. The meteor showers are the worst. But at least, oh, you know what we should do? We should probably harvest. Is it harvesting now? Nice. Yeah, let's put another person on that. Um, let's put a hold on something. We'll wait on the wood because we're okay on wood for now. Uh, let's see. I feel like on that, maybe we should pause since the meteor might uh, meteor shower might take it out anyways. Plastics we are okay with so I'm just gonna put everybody on the builds and The gathering so we can get all our food together because I don't this is gonna give us like 52 corn I don't want to lose that if a meteor hits it because we definitely need that food So yeah, that's that's the plan right now I like it these all synced up so now they're all ready at the same time. It's the best all right, where is she gonna go now? Go attack this guy. Bam, bam, bam. Right, now you go attack. For our gentleman friend over here, he pretty much got all the meds in this area. Oh, another bandit. Big surprise. Surprised we haven't had any more colonists, like, or, you know, travelers show up to stay with us oh and I just uh spoke too soon look at this oh another scavenger dude hell yeah two adults one child bring in some food but more importantly bring in this guy and he's a fighter too so that's perfect that's gonna be perfect for when we take over all these freaking idiots you know so let's accept them in Okay, they're homeless, so let me focus on getting them a tent built real quick. Actually, let's start um, building shanties, maybe? Or tenements. But that'll probably take longer. We only have one day until the meteor shower. Okay, let's... Uh, well, you know what? Maybe the tenement would be better. We're not taking up just a bunch of unnecessary space. Make that high priority right there. These guys are ready again. Oh yeah, I forgot we got him now. We could actually send him out. We pretty much exhausted all the areas. Just send him this way. And we'll send him. He's at 80 health now. We'll send him to attack this guy. Oh, that was easy. Nice. So he can start gathering concrete. These ladies should be able to take out this guy. 
Nice, there we go. And now you come over here and grab these uh, parts. And that's all of them. Perfect. Hurry up and get this thing built, hopefully. Now we can start building bigger buildings, dude. Hell yeah.